Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Characters can disappear for extended periods of time because the bold and the beautiful has the unfortunate habit of only playing one and slash or two stories at once. Or at least they can disappear insofar as we never see them unless they are discussing the one or two currently being played storylines. But that introduces a tantalizing possibility into the show. What if these folks' lives are still unfolding and taking strange detours that when disclosed would turn everything on its head? Think about the opportunities. Is Liam being overly helpful? Nobody is exactly calling for Felony Flo to come back. However, we still have to ponder how she spends her time. Given how long their engagement has lasted, she must have begun to wonder if they will ever get married. Enter Liam, whose bond with Hope is at best tense. Maybe he's providing Flo a shoulder to cry on and reminding her that his brother loves her when he's not on screen. Perhaps he's also observing and pointing out all the qualities Wyatt must appreciate about her. Perhaps one day, in an effort to cheer Flo up, he kisses her and unintentionally sends Hope flying straight into Thomas' arms. Carter is looking over his choices. Bill keeps repeating, like a broken record, that he wants Katie to come back. Carter is already beginning to worry that Bill will eventually get his way. Because of this, it's possible that despite how committed he is to Katie, he is thinking of a life without her that also involves Zoe, an ex-girlfriend with whom he's been in touch on the deal. True, their relationship was a complete disaster. But since then, some lessons have been discovered. Perhaps after making amends, the ex-couples are now more contemplative about what might have been. As a result, Carter is taken aback when Zoe unexpectedly returns to Los Angeles and offers him a very viable and alluring option. Sheila's Recruitment of Support Sheila's on-screen time has decreased since she was jailed for killing Lance. But we don't think the objectives have changed. She will do anything to get the affection she craves. She may be making the most of her circumstances by developing a friendship with a fellow prisoner, who will name Candy, as her visitors are few and far between. They become close because of their terrible situations and the injustice of their imprisonment, and they lament not having met one another before they were arrested. Sheila assures that we will know each other on the outside. Finally, she recalls what she told Deacon about having access to a fortune. Okay. And purchases get out of jail free cards for both herself and Candy. After being exposed, Sheila assists Candy in fabricating recommendations for a babysitter so that Steffi and Finn can hire her friend. Tada! When mom and dad aren't there, you can reach Hayes right away. Donna's dual existence. Eric and Donna are as joyful as they possibly can when we see them. What happens, though, if we can't see them? Donna may be battling what she believes to be a terminal illness, for all we know. And instead of leaving Eric to watch another love interest leave, she comes up with a scheme with her doctor, Jordan, Vincent Arizari, to act as though they have fallen in love. Donna believes that this will be less upsetting for Eric than seeing her pass away. She only pulls through in the end. She rushes to Eric to break the good news. But there's also a catch. Her previously unreal feelings for Jordan have now materialized. Forrester creations will cease operations. Imagine that you are a Zend and that Thomas, Thomas, Thomas is the only person who can potentially salvage hope for the future because your concepts aren't cutting it. Do you snuggle up in a corner with a pint of ice cream and kiss your wounds? Or do you tell yourself, what the hell? My parents are wealthy and convinced Tony and Kristen to contribute the startup capital for your own clothing line. The latter is what we predict you do. And if Sandy follows suit, he might sabotage the upcoming hope for the future collection by having his models walk the runway in Planet Z Kutcher. Can future hope survive? Future hope walking on thin ice. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers, Hope Spencer's, Annika Noel, marriage is in danger. But hope for the future is also being upset by her seemingly uncontrollable emotions about Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, 
The line that hope started in Leeds is uncertain of its destiny. The public and crucial customer's enthusiasm was rekindled by Thomas' return as head designer. But hope also displayed surprising behavior as a result. Spoilers for the bold and the beautiful. Steffi Forrester Finnegan, Stan's Woods chance. character, Steffi Forrester Finnegan, was aware that it was dangerous to advertise her brother's return to Forrester Creations. She did this soon after the board of directors abruptly fired him. Woods severely warned Thomas that she would be keeping a tight eye on him and that he would be expelled if he ever crossed the line with Hope or anyone else. Thomas was extremely appreciative to be back and heeded Steffi's advice. However, Thomas' actions have not caused any issues. He put a lot of effort into it and kept emphasizing how remorseful he was for what had happened in the past with Hope and what he had done to Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang. In California, seeing is believing. When Steffi first noticed Hope seeming to flirt with Thomas, she was taken aback. She made an effort to brush it off or extend a little leeway to the HFTF leader. But as it turned out, Hope's thoughtful efforts persisted. It appeared as though she lost all self-control when Thomas was around. Steffi has a responsibility to maintain the direction of FC as co-CEO and its major stakeholders. She didn't hesitate to face Hope even though Hope was denying everything. Spoilers for the bold and the beautiful. Hope is under pressure Spencer. Thomas is used to being the center of attention. It seems that in addition to his propensity for wrongdoing, he also developed an addiction to being the focus of attention, which included being the cause of numerous issues. However, Hope is not intentionally acting inappropriately with Thomas because she wants to raise a commotion. Instead, she feels conflict in her heart. Previously, she had a lot of emotions for Thomas. She mostly felt bad for him. But now that Hope is feeling admiration, she is highlighting Thomas's good qualities. If Hope is unable to restrain her love feelings, she will be in hot water. Steffi will certainly support her brother if the boom needs to be lowered on B and B, because she can only put up with what has been going on for so long. Brianna busts RJ spills the beans in Taylor's play for Ridge, Hope's secret. According to the bold and the beautiful B and B, spoilers on June 2, Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, will press Deacon Sharp, scene canon, for explanations regarding his sudden drive to move forward as a pair. Brooke won't understand why Deacon is attempting to push them down a love path once more because he previously seemed to accept that they wouldn't be an item. Brooke would later realize that Taylor Hayes, Krista Allen, must have encouraged him to do this, though. Deacon might acknowledge that Taylor did encourage him to win Brooke back after Brooke questions him about how this notion came to be. Taylor's interference will undoubtedly irk Brooke, and she will soon want to confront her about her matchmaking scheme. By the time Brooke visits Forrester Creations again, Taylor will undoubtedly have done something new for which to criticize him. When Taylor offers a trip to Rome while Ridge Forrester, Thorsten K., is on vacation, Brooke will walk in on what appears to be an intimate moment between them. Brooke will become enraged about their broken agreement after it becomes clear that Taylor is attempting to win Ridge's heart romantically. R.J. Forrester, Joshua Hoffman, will catch up with Hope Spencer, Annika Noel, and confess to her as Brooke reacts to seeing Taylor all over Ridge. It comes out that R.J. will reveal a truth about the real reason he returned to Los Angeles. R.G. may admit that he returned even though he really just wanted to spend more time with his family because he wanted to defend them. Hope will continue to uphold Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, as the consummate gentleman, even though R.G. may still have some unresolved worries about him. R.G. will discuss Brooke and Taylor's peculiar bond with Hope next on Friday's B&B program, so these siblings could have their worries about it lasting. This is particularly evident given the current conflict between Hope and Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline Missins Wood, about Hope's love for Thomas. This friendship is ending since it has already dragged Brooke and Taylor into yet another round of controversy. According to teasers for The Bold and the Beautiful, Brooke will learn that Taylor used her as a prop to win over Ridge and that information will cause some major friction.